Hey, Karen, how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm good, and you? Good. How was your day today? Okay, was good. I had a webinar, and then I had to interview. And after that, I had to make a lot of reports. Make or do. I had uh, to do. Yes, yes, because you're completing them. Uh -huh. Make if, you're, if you have to create them. But for probably the best situation for this case, Karen, for reports is probably I had to write a lot of reports. Sorry, teacher. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, Karen, can you? I'm having uh, technical uh -huh. issues. I, I'm having connection problems. Okay, okay, no problem. I don't know, maybe something is happening with uh, with Tigo. It uh, had been giving me trouble for a week. Oh. I don't know what happened with the company but I don't know okay my day was good okay I had a I had a webinar and then I had to interview and after that I had to to do some reports and then take a little rest and you are still hiring people Karen yeah, I'm still hiring, but some some offers has uh have been postponed until January. For and the offer for for what positions? Uh, for example, I have four positions right now. I have two uh two ac account two general account. Uh, the profession accountants uh-huh uh, uh -huh. but the position is contador general general accountant general accountant mm -hmm. and then uh, and one for a financial manager and one for a clerk as a, a miss administrative clerk okay quite a few things yeah but I like it I enjoy doing my work okay okay Carolina Sandra Elias how are you guys fine teacher excellent waiting the weekend ha! that's the that's the idea we're almost almost only a little bit more and we're almost there right ah yeah thanks Dan mm-hmm can you imagine just five more days and, and five more classes and we're finished also with the course? Really? Yeah. Today's Wednesday. We have class tomorrow, one, and then four classes next week and you are done. And then you are on vacation to January. And you know, the end of my school year, it is also on the 18th. So the next Friday, I will be also on vacation from, from my job too. From your ah, job too. Wow. Yeah. So next week is only only one more week, Carol. Only one more. Finish it. Finish yeah. it. 
<laughs> yes, that's that's what I have in my mind all the day mm. when I wake up. I'm counting backwards. I can imagine. I can imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you know, it's even though we're at home, but you're still working. I mean, it's not like uh, well, in my case, right? Because Karen has to go to the office. But in my case, I'm from home and I'm working. But I work. I teach six hours of class every day almost. So it's not that it's not that I have free time. So <laughs> it's the same teacher. I would like to be in the school, you know, working from my house. I right? work a lot. I think like I this year has been so faster for me. I prefer to be in the school than being here in my house. Ah, yes. And you know, I I got an it's funny you mentioned that because the, I got an offer from from China to teach English online for for next year, and I thought with the experience from this year, man, it's I don't know. I want to go back to school. I want to go back to the classroom. <laughs> Me too, teacher. It's like imagine uh, if I am the school, I do all that I can to finish all my job at two p.m. and then I know that if I go back home, it's like I'm going to be doing. A house, house course, house church. What's yes. the word? Mm, house church. Mm -hmm. And being with my girl because I do all, always, I keep the promise to me like I will never carry the job to my house. But now I have to do it and I hate it because I, I would like to be in the school and after 2 p.m., that is the time of my schedule. If I finish, I go and relax in my house and I change my mind. But now I am working, for example, the Friday, I will have, I also do interviews for teachers because I am going to be in the coordination. Hey, hey congratulations. Is that, you, that's a promotion, right, Caro? Yes, yes, it's a promotion. So congratulations. Looking, thank you, teacher. I'm so happy because of that. And I'm looking for my teachers. It's like I'm doing interviews also. And I have them on Friday. I have to teach in the morning from 8 to 9.30. And in the afternoon, I have to teach from 2 to 3.30. And I have two interviews, one at 10.30 and the other one at 11.30. And then at 4 and from 4 to 6, I have to be uh, in meetings with parents. Imagine. And that was not in, in, in my last day at all. That's very, I don't know. It seems very, very long, your schedule for work. Uh, um, do you work at a bilingual school, Carol? Yes, I do. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. That's okay. why I teach it. And as I'm, I'm going to be a coordinator, so maybe the things are going to change the next year. But yeah. now I am taking that too. Uh, jobs, the being okay. the teacher and being the coordinator at the same time. And Carolina, how mm -hmm. how are you going to start the classes next year? Virtual or presential? It is going to be virtually the first semester. That's what all we know. But it is going to be kind of blended. Blended. It's like we will be. Um, some groups are going to be in the school by the while the others are taking the classes at home. And then we will change the group. The other ones that were at home, they will be in the school and the other ones will be at home, so something like that. But it, that is going to be like blended system. And then it, it is supposed to be all a presential. I don't know how to Yes, say that's it. right, that's right. Uh, okay, so it is, it is like that. But the first semester is going to be the virtual. Well, uh -huh, because they, in the first, because they don't have the vaccine yet, right? No. Mm -hmm. And we are preparing and we are taking courses. That's other thing, teacher, because we are also taking courses to prepare the school and to prepare us how we're going to handle it. So I'm also studying uh, MINET courses. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Carol, can, uh, can you say what school you work at? Yes, or, it's called Janitar Bilingual School. Janitar. Janet Janitar. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's in San Salvador or? In Lourdes. In Lourdes. Mm -hmm. Janitar Bilingual School. I don't know where that is. I lived in Lourdes. 
Uh, maybe you know Lisa Castilla. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so uh, that was close to a place called Bosques de Lourdes, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so before it, there is another one that is called Quinta Las Esmeraldas. Mm -hmm. the, school, the school is there in Quinta Las Esmeraldas. Uh, okay mm -hmm. okay that's why i don't know it probably it's not it's not that you can see right from the road right like uh liceo castillo it it has a big advertisement now okay the, the first four houses are the school okay. but we are growing the thing is that it was all all just a kindergarten but it has been 12 years and now we will have until ninth grade oh wow Mm -hmm. Wow, Carol. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like kindergarten. That that was my first job. I was a kindergarten teacher. Really, teacher? Yeah, I loved mm -hmm. it. For me, kindergarten, I, I like it. I like it. You can sing, you can dance, you can jump, sit on the floor with the kids, you can play games. And I mean, of course, you know, there's always the, they're kids. So, you know, it uh, depends the age. You have to teach them how to go to the bathroom or you have to show them uh, how to, you know, hold the pencil and do, uh, well, you know, each group has its challenges, but I like it because they, it, it, they're always willing to play games and, and do things that are silly. Ah, uh, yes. They, and they're not embarrassed. No. I love primary. That's my favorite. Okay. I always have been working in primary life fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. But the next year, I'm going to be the coordinator for junior high school from seven to nine. <laughs> hey, great job. Great job, Carla. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. Thank you, Peter. So I'm very excited about it, and I have a lot of things that I want to do. Okay. I hope I will. Well, it seems that we only have um, uh, six people today. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually, uh, before we get started into our groups and, and getting doing our work, um, let's review or let's, uh, let me answer any questions that you have about the platform, exercises, midterm, um, anything like that. So before we start, now is the moment. Do you have any questions? Are there any exercises that are giving you problems or anything that you need help with i have problems with the 1.8 i don't know how to complete that exercise okay okay hang on, hang and on. Also i have i have one over here uh, uh someone who is responsible for a large staff has to be able to be creative with scheduling uh so i have tried many times to uh, to do the the what what is the the interaction over here is to to use, let me see. But I have tried the number six. Someone who is responsible for a large staff has to be able to be creative with scheduling. And I don't know how to, to make this. This is in, in what? In, in, because this is not a 1.8. No, no this that's is not 1.8. 4.1. Uh, this is uh, 4.2. Okay, so first let's go with 1.8 and then we'll go to the other ones, all right? Okay. The first problem or the first question you have is 1.8, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, right. is the question for a specific, uh, uh, a specific number that you're getting wrong or is how to do it or what? Yes, I have problem with the whole exercise. With the whole exercise? Yes, I don't know why, maybe Maybe I have to go to basic, I'm, I'm not sure. No, maybe it's just the class was not clear. I didn't explain it clearly, don't worry. It's not about yeah, you. Just explain it, just explain it that. Okay. Uh, 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 yeah, see. I have problem, no, excuse me. I have problem with the number seven, number eight, <laughs> number two and four. Okay, the whole exercise, all right. <laughs> I like it, Dad. I like it, Elias, all right. So let's take a look, all right. So here is the knowledge check 1.8. This is the correct exercise? Yes. Okay, all right. We did number four and five as an example, but you, you said that there are a few others that are still giving you some difficulties. Um, you said number two, right? Yeah, number two. Okay. So what did you put? What was, what, what was the answer that you thought was correct? Okay. Uh, I have over here, uh, let me, 
let me check. He asked me, eh, had you, had you hear the, the news? Ah, uh, okay, okay, I think, okay, I see. You, you're not using the word if, because here is, the answer is yes or no. So with yes or no is if. If, yes. he, asked he asked me, me if, if. Yeah, I used, I used oh, you, if. Okay, Elias, are you on the computer? Would, would it, uh, could you share? Yeah, I, am, I am at the computer. He asked, he asked me if. Can you share your screen and then maybe sometimes it, it, we have found many times that it's a spelling mistake or a punctuation mistake or something like that. So let's see, that way we can help you directly. And if somebody in the, in the class uh, sees or identifies what it is, okay, we can help uh, Elias as well. Okay. Uh, so do I have to use the question mark? No, 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 you don't because it's, uh -huh. a, it's not a uh, question. That is the problem I use in the uh, question mark. No, for none of these, none of these are questions. They're all sentences because they're, they're, you're only saying, you're only stating what the person said. You're not asking what the person said. Okay. So I have, he asked me if I had, if I had heard, heard the news. Yeah, 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 and a period. But if you want, you can share your screen and then we can, uh, we can help you in case if, it, if it's wrong. Okay. Let me see. I'm gonna... And while Elias is, is doing that, anybody else have any other uh, questions or any other sections? No, teacher. Got it. No. Sandra, for you? No. No. Stephanie, for no, you? Teacher, thank no. you. Okay. Carol, no? I have a stop on the midterm. Okay. Oh. We'll take a look at when we get to the midterm. Perfect. Thank you. And no, but I don't have questions until that. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. No problem. And Danielle, how about you? Hi, teacher. Hey. <laughs> I try in uh, 1.8 too. Okay, also 1.8. All right, Elias, how did that work for you? Let's take a look so we can we can yeah. share. Yeah, that's right. Thank you, teacher. Ah, uh, okay. Do you, do you want to share your screen? That way you can help Danielle as well because Danielle okay. says he has he asked, a, he has okay. some difficulty with that one. Okay, he asked me. He asked me if I have hair. If I had heard uh, the, the news. Yeah, and period, at the end, I was using um, a, a question mark. Maybe that was the problem. Uh, okay, I try, I try. Okay. Okay, it's good, it's good, thanks, thanks, thanks. Okay, okay. and the number four, do you have the number four? I don't, um, I have problem with the number four also. Number four is, she asked me what I wasn't why I wasn't. Why I wasn't. Why I wasn't, yes. Why I wasn't you talking. Why I wasn't talking. Uh-huh. To talking, teacher. No, not to. Only the wasn't talking. Ah, okay. Yeah, talking. talking, okay. Mm -hmm. Talking. And a period, and remember, they're not the questions. Period, the period, five, okay. She asked. Okay, me. that's right, that's right. All right, there you go. I, why I wasn't uh, I, talking. Okay, I'm using the, the question mark too. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, maybe it was just a question mark, Elias. Yeah, the, I, I guess. Any yeah, other? Any other any other ones from that one, Elias? The number seven. What the movie scary? The uh, the children ask me, and I have uh, the children. The children ask me if if the movie 
uh, had been scared. Scary, had been scary. Had been scary. With a Y and then a period. Okay. Okay, thank you. Repeat, please, Elias. Uh, the children ask me uh -huh. if the movie if the if movie uh, has been uh, scary. Movie had been scary. Yes. Okay, okay. Scary. Okay, ahorita pruebo, probando. Remember the period, Daniel, the period. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, teacher. Okay. Mm, the teacher. No me, no me. Daniel, can you share your screen? That way Daniel can, sorry, Elias, can you share your screen? That way Daniel can see. Uh, let me see. I don't know how to, how to show the, ah, uh, the, the screen, teacher. I'm sorry, I'm not good at technology. On the bottom, when you move the mouse on top of this, on the bottom uh -huh. it says compartir pantalla. Okay. It's, it's a little green button. Mm -hmm. Let me see. There you go. Um, okay. Hey, hey, you see? Uh, let me see. I can find it. Twitter. I am in, in the laptop. Yes. You you were sharing in this moment. You were sharing. Ah uh, yes. And then you stopped. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know what what I did because. <laughs> All right, Elias, no problem, no problem. All right, Daniel, uh, one, one one more time. Which one is number seven? Right, the children asked me. Uh huh. Uh, the children asked me if the movie. Mm hmm has been no had because it has to be in the past ah, okay sorry had been scary mm -hmm. okay that's right okay thank you teacher you're welcome okay and the five and the five he told me mm -hmm. to give him mm -hmm. told me to to Yes. Give. Give. Him. A call. Correct. Okay. Him. What about we didn't take the eight, eight train? Uh, mm -hmm. They, they hadn't taken. No, they, they no. didn't take. They didn't say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, okay. You yes. Actually, I have a, I have two questions. Okay. Uh, it's in exercise four point two. Okay. All right. Hang on. Um, Elias, any other questions for one point eight? Elias? Uh, no, I have already completed the exercise with your help, teacher. Thank okay. you very much. You're welcome. I really uh, appreciate your help. Of course. And uh, Daniel, any other questions for 1.8? Uh, me faltan tres todavía, teacher. Okay, do you, want, do you want to try or do you want us to help you? Uh, I, I try, teacher, I try. Okay. I'll try. Okay. You go ahead and try, okay. Daniel. And if you still have problems, ask us tomorrow. But now okay. you have now you have a, a little bit better ideas with the examples that they have there. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay. Teacher. But if you have problems, you ask tomorrow. Stephanie, in four point two, you said correct. Yes. Okay. Number two. Number two. Let's take a look. Do you want to share your screen, or do you want to? Do you want okay. me to? Uh -huh. I'll do it. Okay. Perfect. Can you see my screen? Uh, yes, we can. Okay. Uh, here, number two. 
I thought it's with the, I think it's with the ING form of the verb, but I'm not sure. Okay, that is right. It's, it's with the ING form of the verb. Okay, so what do you have? Anybody wanting to be? To be an actor needs both talent and love. Yes, that's right. Hmm. I can't see where you would have made a mistake because and well, after the word wanting is one space or two spaces oh, let me, oh i thought i think it's two okay <laughs> let, let me it check looks, now it looks very big but uh-huh <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that was the answer <laughs> okay there you go thank you teacher. you're welcome you're welcome and the other one is i think it's 4.5 Four. In this listening. 4.5, okay. Yes. The answer about Alex. The job from Alex. For, okay, Alex, number two, right? Yes. Okay. So it says, um, what does each person do? And what did you put? What did you put uh, Alex does? Um, well, Alex says that he, he has his own business and I don't remember. I don't that's right, that's right, he yes. does have his own business. So yes, he has his own business, mm -hmm. but I don't know why. I don't know how to put it, to put here. Ah, okay, great. Uh, can anybody help her? How would you put when the person has their own business? How can you describe the job? Uh, actually, I also put also uh, self-employed, but it was incorrect too. Okay. All Is right. Okay, what? we have. I haven't tried that, but if you type business owner. Okay, business owner. Uh, excuse me, what number is? It's number 4.5. 4.5. Yes. No. Try small business owner because he says it's a small business, ah. right? Try try with the small business owner. No, is it still incorrect? But you didn't put small. Uh, ah. How do you say? Small. Small business. The small business owner. So the same for, for business owner, but small. Mm -hmm. Remember, don't, don't use capitals at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's correct. That's correct? Okay. Small business owner. Uh -huh. Thank so you, the, teacher. Yeah, it's the business owner, but, but he says specifically small. Um, and the difference, for example, mm. there's a difference between being self-employed and being a business owner. So, for okay. example, for example, me, I'm self-employed. I, I have my own contracts. I do my own business. I, I have the independence, right? But I don't have a business. I don't have uh, other people. So this is the, the, the difference between self-employed and business owner, like the people that maybe that... Uh, that make clothes or that uh, clean the houses. They are self-employed, but they are not business owners. Ah, okay, I get it. Okay, perfect. Thanks, teacher. Sure thing, sure thing. Anybody else, any other questions or parts? Hey, we have a couple more. We got Ernesto in here, we got Leonidas. I didn't even see when they came in here. Like, ah, okay. Do we have any other questions for the platform? Teacher, not for now. Not for now, Leonidas. Ernesto, how about you? Are any questions for the platform? Any parts? Uh, everything is clear for now, teacher. Oh, that's what I like. Clear like horchata. That's what I love it. All right. <laughs> so. <laughs> 
perfect. Well, today we're going to be taking a look at the concept of relative clauses then, if there are no other questions. And relative clauses is part of 4.1. Imagine we're ready, 4.1. So we have relative clauses. Before we take a look at these examples and all of these things, uh, what can you tell me? What do you remember about relative clauses? You can use, look at those sentences, those examples, if you want to help you remember a little bit. What do you, what do you remember are relative clauses? I remember uh, that is when you can, the relative clause add uh, important information about something or about the subject. Or sometimes, um, relative clauses give us an extra information about the topic that we are talking about. Sometimes it's like something added before a sentence that we said before, but if we drop it, the sentence will have the same meaning. Okay, great. That's the idea. Exactly. Relative clauses is to give us that extra information. And you're right, there are two types of relative clauses. There's, uh, we have relative clauses that are defining and we have relative clauses that are called non-defining. And the main idea is that one in the ones that are defining are the ones that are obligation to complete the sentence. If you eliminate it, mm, you're not gonna understand the sentence or the sentence is not gonna make sense or it's not gonna be clear, okay? That's the defining relative clauses. Then we have non-defining, and that non-defining is just extra information. It's just like an adjective, like a beautiful red purse, right? But instead of just using the word beautiful or red, we use an entire clause. And those are non-defining. Those are the ones that we give a little bit more, okay? I like the purse that is produced by uh, Praga, okay, um, in Italy. So that, that is produced by is extra because you know you don't need that extra information to know which one is the beautiful one that I like. Does that make sense? Does that help you remember a little bit? Yes. Yes. Okay, great. Great. So we have all of these concepts. Hang on, let me take a picture to put into the WhatsApp group just in case um, before we watch the video to make sure everybody remembers what they are. Okay, so we're gonna watch the video, listen to it, and then um, if we have any questions or anything, I'll explain it as soon as the video is over. Hello, do you remember about relative pronouns? Who, which, that? Good for you, you still remember. Now we'll learn how to shorten relative clauses. Stay and learn how. Reduce relative clauses. You can shorten a relative clause by dropping the relative pronoun and the verb be someone who, that is, able to think quickly, might be a good surgeon. A person who, that is, looking for adventure, could be a private detective. A person who, that is, training music, might be a good DJ. You can also drop who or that and change the verb to the gerund. Someone who or that needs job security might not want to be a jazz musician. Someone needing job security might not want to be a jazz musician. In many relative clauses, who or that has can be replaced by with. A person who or that has a good voice could be a good TV journalist. A person with a good voice could be a good TV journalist. Once a relative clause is reduced, it becomes an adjective phrase. It is bound within a noun phrase and defines and describes that noun phrase. A person, noun phrase, working as a surgeon, adjective phrase, needs to be creative and smart. These adjective phrases must come immediately after the noun they are describing. They are not separated by commas. Complete these sentences using your own ideas. Share them in class and with us.
Okay, so we're that's helping us remember a little bit and it's pretty much the ideas that we said. It's just giving that extra information, right? We're compliments or getting the, the things that we want to describe to be a little bit better, a little bit clearer, okay? It's not just one thing. Um, obviously here, there's a little mistake in number one. It should be a space, right? It's not a person. It's a person, not a person, uh, one word, but don't worry about it. Everything else is okay. The, the rest of it is, is perfect. Um, so here is probably where we can enjoy, we can see a little bit more of how we're gonna use it, okay? So all it is is just um, in eliminating the who or the that and the verb to be. So that's how we're talking about reduced relative clauses. So normally the people say someone who is able to think quickly might, ha might be a good surgeon, but it's also correct to someone able to think quickly might be a good surgeon. It's not necessary to have that who or that that. I don't know, does that help you a little bit? So it's the same as a relative clause, but you can eliminate the, the relative, which is the who, that, there, which, you can remove it and remove the verb to be, and then this is what's considered a reduced relative clause. So, so, questions, doubts, not clear? Well, I think in my case, it's clear. I was Sorry. trying the exercises and I had some of them wrong, but I was watching the video and I solved it. It was okay. Okay, all right. Thank Good, you. Sandra. Leonidas, you were saying? I was saying that uh, for me it's new the topic, so at, until now it's, it's clear. Okay, so for, uh, because if the topic is new for, Leoni for you, Leonidas, the easiest way to think about it is just giving more information, okay? So as an example, someone, um, you know, works in, I don't know, someone works in Claro. Mm, that's, not a, that's not a lot of information for the sentence. It's not very clear. So for this, we would use the, a defining relative clause. This is like an adjective. Someone who is in my class works in Claro. Ah, now it's a little bit better because now we can identify specifically the person that is in your class. Okay, because there are many people that work in Claro, but with this relative clause, this is the, this is the function. We can have, remember, two forms. We can have defining, which you need. It's another way to say that is obligation to understand the context. And if you remove it, mm, the sentence is not too clear or you can have non-defining, which is just extra information, okay? Uh, Sandra, who is my mother, uh, is able to cook very well. Well, you don't need to know that she is my mother. All, all you need to know is Sandra can cook very well. So if I eliminate it, this is non-defining because it's just like Sandra is beautiful. This is the extra information. Okay, perfect teacher, thank you. All right, you're welcome. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna make, um, we're gonna form a few groups. And what we want to do is we wanna make sure that we're practicing them. We're going to try to use these relative clauses describing people, talking about people, places, things, and just using them, okay? If you can, or if you feel comfortable, remove them. That means remove the who or that, okay? If you're not clear, use it completely, and then say the sentence again without it, okay? So if you're, one more time. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna describe, we're just worried about describing people, right? That's it. So someone, a person, a, you know, whatever. That's, that's the first thing, okay? So someone I work with, okay? Someone I work with and then what, okay? Ah, okay. Someone I work with who is uh, my supervisor or who is, uh, ha who has a higher position in me, is not very nice, oh, okay? That's it, it's just whatever you want to describe. It can be people at work, people in your neighborhood, family members, you can create it. It doesn't, you know, the important is to use this, to use the idea of who or that, and then little by little, make sure that you can remove it and just use the descriptions. Okay, teacher. All right, let's try it then. Okay. We're gonna, let's form our pairs and let's do it.
Sandra, I'm going to change uh, you to a different group because it seems that um, your partner Daniel his he, he uh, his internet failed. Okay. Okay. <laughs> is in German right now. And does he speak German? Yes. He he, uh, he studied in the in the school here in in San Salvador. In the German school here in San Salvador close to Uca. Ah, okay. And do you speak German, Karen? No, Ernesto. I my my I can speak fluently Spanish and English so so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am I am asking you because I I la I want to, to learn German. But it's too expensive. Really? But, yeah, but it is too expensive at uh, in the German school here at San Salvador. Yeah, because they 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 have a native native mm -hmm. uh, teachers. Yes, they are from Germany. They are native, and it costs mm -hmm. one hundred and fifty per module. But I think that that language is very difficult and and French too, you know, uh, I don't know, but maybe my my brain is not made for for learning different languages. Um, in fact, it is pretty, very easy because I, for example, yes. And also, a person who is passionate about movies could be maybe a movie director. Yes. Um, what else? I'm trying to invent something. Um, I can invent for example something. someone for example okay. someone who is good at, at cooking. Okay. Might be a a good chef. <laughs> uh, I did the from one to the number four and then some of security. Oh. But as I told you I have never practiced, so it's like I don't remember. I just remember packet tracer. It was a tool that we used to to uh, I, I forget the word like to, it's like similar. Uh, similar uh -huh. yeah, that's, that. I used to use mm -hmm. it too. Oh, so that's why I remember and I, I have it sometimes I when I have time I start practicing or, or doing things that I would like to remember but it's just virtual, never in the, in the real life. Okay. Mm -hmm. so it's, it's a little bit difficult to make an idea, like uh, to reduce the classes. Okay, make a sentence and I'll help you. So that way it makes it a little bit easier with some examples. For What's example, if I say um, the doctors are good, uh, in surgery, the p in surgeries, it could be like that. The doctors are good in doing surgeries to the people. No, no, no. That's just a sentence because you are just saying doctors are good at doing surgeries. You, there's no, no. You need you need to include the relative clause. So, doctors who work at Bloom Hospital are good at doing surgeries, for example. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. 
Like it's like adding information, right? Right, right. It's because information. because when Leonidas says it, it's just uh, it, it 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 doesn't have a relative clause. It's only the information. It's only like uh, you know the person I work with. But okay. you need to include that. Uh huh. Okay. So. And let me and and to make it shorter, you change the verb a little bit. So for example, um, we said doctors who work at um. At Bloom Hospitals are good at surgery, right? Yes. Okay, okay. So to make it reduced, that means we eliminate the who and we eliminate the verb to be. Okay? So in this case, all we need to do, because we didn't use a verb to be, we say who work, right? Doctors who work at Bloom Hospital. So we didn't use a verb to be, So, but it's still the same rule. So we only put doctors working at Bloom Hospital are good surgeons. Mm. Sounds better. I don't know. I like it. Does that More shorter, right? Right, right. So it's shorter, and you don't have to repeat the verb who or the verb to be. Mm -hmm. It could and be. Can in... I say? Go, go, go ahead. Go ahead, mm -hmm. Carolina. Ladies first. Okay, it can be. <laughs> <laughs> he always say that. Okay, it can be sister like a boss that I remember. Yeah, was very angry always. Was always very angry. Yes. It doesn't matter that I just add that I remember and I didn't. I wasn't this, this, that is specific. No, no, that's fine. Mm, okay, mm. good. Now, Julian. Now, it could be, for example, if I say, uh, my brother, who is a good runner, is still in the house. Is still in the house. Could be? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay, okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Teacher, if I change the verb, for example, like the, the one you reduce the uh, the two verbs, mm -hmm. you use like it was the two sentences in present continued. So it could be like that. Because you say something and then say another thing in present continuous. Correct. Correct. What you cannot do is reduce it when it's an adjective or reduce it when it's a description. For example, the sentence that you said about your brother. My brother, who is a good runner. If I eliminate who is, there is no verb. There's only mm -hmm. a noun, a good runner. So for this, you cannot reduce because there is no action. Oh, okay. <laughs> So you need to have an action to be re to reduce it. So if you change the sentence, for example, um, my brother who who runs every morning is still in the house. Okay, there's an action. So my brother running every morning is still in the house. That can be reduced. Mm -hmm. So you need to have an activity or an action or a verb to be able to reduce it. Because if not. You, you can't, there is no, there is no possibility because there, there is only the, the description. So if we can say that it doesn't have to be a verb, be. it has to be whatever or a verb. It can be, well, you, you can, when you reduce it, it cannot have the verb, uh, the, the clause and it cannot have the verb to be. So if the original sentence has it, you need to eliminate it. If the original sentence doesn't have it, only eliminate the clause, the who or where or that or which. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, my brother who plays the guitar is the youngest. Okay, my brother who plays the guitar and is the youngest. And then I can say my brother, I'm not playing the guitar, all right, he's the younger. Right, you can, <laughs> but, it, but exactly, my brother playing the guitar is the youngest you can but see I have it. to have it in front right like yeah the yeah that's to be seen is the one that is playing the guitar because uh -huh, I, I i kind of understand it better now right right so that's the difference because when you say my brother mm -hmm. who plays the guitar the person doesn't need to be there mm -hmm. it can be only a describing of all the family members right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but if you say with the ing in the reduced is because the person is there and you don't need to say it because they are there my brother mm -hmm. my brother playing the guitar or in a picture 
my brother playing the guitar. Like, that's With why. The exactly. And I have to see the boy. Yes, right. My brother. That's that's the function of, of reduce. You don't you don't need to use it because you already have a visual aspect. But if you don't, then you need to have it because you are explaining in general terms. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No, it's more clear, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, I like it because they they are they are so romantic. Yeah, I love Italian too, and that's my second option. If I don't find a, like an academy for learning German. I will go to Asistencia Italiana, se llama, no sé si... Ah, ajá, ajá, es next to, next to Uca. No, 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 Seiba de Guadalupe. Close, close, close. Ah, la Seiba de Guadalupe, cabal. Uh -huh. But yeah. uh, I'm still looking for a German academy. Maybe, I, did you, teacher, do you know an academy that teaches German? Yeah, but all of them are pretty expensive. Um, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the normal and it, it really goes by by level I think Karen had mentioned earlier to get native speakers is really expensive that I think it's like a hundred and I don't know 120 or 150 maybe maybe for two months or six weeks something like this and then it goes little by little then all right so this is this is the way the academies work and this is the way that they they pay the teachers and the teachers choose it's it's kind of like us all right natives have this price people that are not native but studied in the other countries are this price people that uh, are not native and they learned here in el salvador are this price and that's how the academies also have the quality but also have their prices because if you want native, it's high. If you want someone who is not native but learned in a native country, you pay them more because technically they have more experience. They they have a better development. And then you have the others that they didn't study outside the country, but they are good and they but they learned here, so they don't have the complete knowledge. Mm. It it happened the same with the with the school here in El Salvador because uh, someone who studied in America in American school mm -hmm. they they uh, the kid speaks fluently like native but uh, my son who who is in La Matepec uh, he's he's uh, uh, his pronunciation, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. And it has to do with their instructors because if the instructors- They are, are, they are not native. Yeah, that's the problem. So maybe they are really good, but they're not native. And so you don't, especially in children, not so much in adults, but especially in children, they don't copy, they don't mimic this native sound. And that's a problem. So mm -hmm. the people can speak, but always have that accent or always have that thing. As an adult, it's not such a big problem because an adult, you make the decision, a conscious decision to, to work on it. And some muscles you cannot because they are already developed and it's really hard to form like for French. You can learn French, but there are certain, uh, ling or certain sounds that is, is impossible, it's impossible to be native because your tongue is already formed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I like, I, I hear my cousins mm -hmm. uh, who, who study there in the um, American school and I like it to, to, to hear them, to, to speak in English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that's what happens. But, you know, um, not at the moment, not at the moment, Ernesto. I think that mm, I have known that there have been a couple of schools like uh, my English Express near Metro Centro in San Salvador. Um, they teach many languages. I think it was uh, Japanese, Portuguese, um, Italian, French, English, and I'm not sure if they teach German also, but, um, and that's probably one of the, the, the least expensive ones. I think they were like fifty fifty dollars a month, um, something like this, or or forty five dollars a month. But their teachers are not native, so it's kind of like, mm, yes, you can learn it, but mm, what do you need it for? Because if you need to sound native, 
or if you need to, you need it specifically for, I don't know, for something you want, you have to make a decision. If it's just for you, if it's just for traveling or to go out, eh, you don't have to sound native. Everybody knows you're not native. Yeah, exactly. I think that I, I don't need to, to have a native teacher. And maybe a person that learned here can um, can teach me enough like to defend myself in the in a case I traveled to Germany. Yeah, that's it. So that's why I say that it's really the cost versus the benefit. So but that's how the that's how the academies work and that's how you get your, your prices for the how much how expensive the academies are. All right, that was pretty fast. It's actually, oof, I got with one group and, you know, between talking, answering questions, suddenly, wow, it's nine o'clock and it's only five more days to finish the module. Hmm. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing, amazing. So I, I hope everybody has a great evening, a great night. Um, we are going to continue tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to, uh, we're going to continue practicing a little bit more of this. Um, remember, if you have questions in the platform, try them, try to do the exercises. If you still have problems, tell us and we'll help you out. Okay. Okay. Perfect, okay thank you. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thank have a nice night. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.